Hey y'all, it's Amanda and this is my Texas Zone 8 garden and today I am out in Farmersville, Texas and we're going to be touring homegrown plants which is one of my favorite nurseries. All right, so it's an absolutely beautiful day. We're going to hit 80 degrees today, I'm very excited. And I thought I'd come out to Homegrown, see what they have left over of their late winter inventory and see if they've got any of their new uh, spring inventory in. I also heard from another viewer that the cost of my favorite soil BM7, burger BM7 went up. So let's see what that cost is here. Okay, so they have um, all the sides of their greenhouse open. It's really good, and they are stocked. So these over here are all geraniums. I can't tell what colors they are yet, but they do usually start all of these themselves. So let's look at some prices. So we got a gallon here for $9.95. And they definitely have buds. It's coming. You can get them in the nicer pots for $19.95. These bigger parts, pots right here are $26.95. see a variety that I kind of like. I love it when geraniums have this like extra coloring on their leaves. This variety is called Savannah, Savannah Really Red. They have some really large scale pottery over here. Wow. Those are big. Let's see if we've got a price. Doesn't say how much. Those are big. They also have a lot of baskets started, planted up, ready to go. You can buy them already done. I do feel like these usually are pretty pricey. It looks like most of them are set up with a proven winners um, set of plants. So basically the nursery gets the plugs of the proven winners plants, plugs them into these containers. Lots of wind chimes. Oh, there's succulents over there. We're going to skip over here. Let's see, we've got more geraniums. These are smaller. These are six inch pots and they are $6.95 each. Like the light pink. This variety is called Savannah Light Salmon. The darker pink is called Savannah Hot Pink Sizzle. It's like they have white. It's an orangey red color. Savannah Oso Orange. It's more of a purple pink color. Savannah Lavender Splash. Another pink tones. This one's called Savannah Blue. And red, Savannah, really red. Lots of red.
over here they have lots of herbs oh they do got some hanging baskets they haven't filled out a ton yet they do have a few love the herbs mojito mint english thyme oh look at the variegated thyme it's called golden lemon thyme doesn't that look like it belongs in a fairy garden French thyme. So the French thyme has little pointy leaves. Silver edged thyme. So pretty. Lemon thyme again. I love this. this is the Corsican Corsican mint. It's like a ground cover. I love it. All of their herbs are $2.95 each. Sweet marjoram. Some lavender, French lavender. Rosemary. Lemon balm. African blue basil. Greek basil. Pineapple sage. Pineapple mint. It smells so good over here. Apple mint. It's pretty. Mojito mint. Italian. Oregano. It's a pretty plant. Here's Greek oregano. An olive tree. And the olive tree is $74.95. It's pretty. Looks like over here we have a bunch of Caladians. Got some in some cute little pots there too. Okay, so we've got some more herbs. This is all spearmint. Strawberry mint. This one is called ginger mint. Here we have orange mint. Every mint you could ever want. <laughs> chocolate mint. I do have chocolate mint in a pot. And peppermint. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. They are definitely getting ready to bring all their annuals in for the spring. They're re-staining um, all of their tables. Getting them prepped. Still lots and lots of pansies and violas, and you can definitely still plant those right now. And they'll last probably into May to June in our area.
And over here they have dianthus. And the dianthus are $16.95 a flat. And the violas, I believe, are $16.95 a flat too, but I could be wrong. Oh no, the violas are $18.95 $18 a flat. They do have snapdragons. All right, looks like we got a ton of proven winners out over here. So let's look at what they have. The price is typically, oh, now I'm seeing it. Okay. The price on these proven winners is $8.95. So let's look at what they have. They've got the High Noon Uriops Pecanatus. I'm not familiar with that. Full to part sun, 14 or 10 to 14 inches tall. Mounding habit annual acceptance zones zone uh, annual acceptance zones 8a to 11b hardy to 20 degrees. It's pretty, kind of like a shorter kind of sunflower daisy mix. And these right here is the Superbina pink cashmere. Those are gorgeous, six to 12 inches, full to part sun. These are annual acceptance zones 8A through 11B, hardy to 30 degrees. Nice. Those are really pretty. All of these proven winners are $8.95 each. I'm going to have to get up and down a million times here. Let me get my workout today. So we have Lobelia right here, dark blue, 6 to 12 inches tall. And also annual um, acceptance zones 9A to 11B. This is a really pretty color. That. And then we have a purple lobelia over here. It's called ultraviolet, Laguna ultraviolet lobelia. That one's pretty too. All right, what's this guy right here? Um, this is Ar um, Azuratum, so Artist Blue Azuratum, eight to 12 inches tall. So this is a shorter variety. It's not a variety that we, you would use for cutting. It is annual acceptance zones 9A to 10B, hardy to 25 degrees. I have found that over the time, Azuratum does reseed itself. Looks like we have the pink Truffula Gonfrina over here. Is that right? Yep. Truffula pink Gonfrina. 22 to 28 inches tall. Does well as a cut flower. I don't really love its scent. Um, it is annual except in zones 9A to 11B. This looks like we have salvias over here. A couple of different varieties. Let's see. This guy right here is the Rockin' Deep Purple, 30 to 40 inches tall. In annual end zones 9A to 11B, hardy to 25 degrees. See it's starting to put on its balloons. And over here we have like a reddish pink tone. Let's see which variety, fuchsia, Rockin' Fuchsia. 24 to 36 inches tall. right here. Rock and Blue Space Shoes, which I've planted before and enjoyed it. Salvia Hybrid, 30 to 40 inches tall. And it's hardy in zones 9A to 11B. What is this? Some kind of daisy? Pure White Butterfly. Chrysanthemum situation, 18 to 36 inches tall, annual in zones 10A to 11B. I really like the foliage, the lacy foliage on that. Here we have the Sun Credibles. Looks like we've got two varieties. We've got the Sun Credible Yellow, which I've grown and enjoyed. One year it didn't do very well for me. These are 24 to 42 inches tall. 
and annuals. And then, so that's what this one looks like with the yellow. And then this one right here is the Saturn. It's an incredible Saturn, full sun, 24 to 36 inches tall. I really like these two. Those are really pretty. Let's see what we got here. Um, Scavola. So we got Whirlwind Blue Scavola, eight, 8 to 14 inches. And I do love Scavola. You can see it's starting to bloom. It's fun in containers. Uh, annuals and acceptance zones 10A to 11B. And then we have the Whirlwind White Scavola. And these are all still $8.95. And then I assume this is the pink. Here we go, Whirlwind Pink. It legit looks like they just started push, pulling them out. So these are all super tunas. So let's see what varieties they're going to grow this year. We have super tunia vista paradise, 12 to 24 inches. And I have grown this one and loved it. It's a great time to start planting petunias. Super tunia vista jasberry. And I've grown that one as well. This is silverberry. Ooh, silverberry. Super Tunia Vista Silverberry. I might have to get some of these. 12 to 24 inches. This one is Super Tunia Vista Fuchsia. 12 to 24 inches. And I will say their Super Tunia has put on some growth like crazy. And then I'm sure that this is bubblegum. Super Tunia Vista bubblegum. 12 to 24 inches, more like 36 inches. If you can only afford a couple of Super Tunias, go with the bubblegum. They will give you a wow impact for the price. All of their Super Tunias are, let's see, $8.95. Now let's come over here. They usually plant up their own series of crazy tunia varieties, which I absolutely enjoy as well. So these are larger, a little bit larger containers at 17, or excuse me, at $7.95 each for these. So we have Crazy Tunia Night Rider, 10 to 15 inches tall. Crazy Tunia Mandeville, which I've grown before. Very pretty. A little bit more fall tone than I thought. I thought it was going to be more red. It had more orange in it. 10 to 15 inches tall. Crazy T Tunia Beach Bellini. 10 to 15 inches tall. That's super pretty. I know these look small, but if you get them in the ground, they're going to take off. Here's the Black, black Petunia. So this is called Sweet Tunia Black Satin. Very pretty. 10 to 12 inches. Love it. We got, oh, I've grown this one. This one is one of my favorite Crazy Tunia. Crazy Tunia Moonstruck. This is stunning and it got huge. So it says 10 to 15, no way. Mine got way, almost two feet tall. Loved it. I had it in a part sun container on the front porch a couple of years ago. This one's Crazy Tunia Rasmataz. Zoom 10 to 15 inches tall. Crazy Tunia Lucky Lilac. Now that is beautiful. 10 to 15 inches tall. And last variety on this row is called Crazy Tunia Tiki Torch. That's beautiful. It looks Hawaiian. Love the colors. 10 to 15 inches tall. I will say I think my crazy genius have gotten bigger than that 10 to 15 inches. So we've got some more over here. This is Crazy Tunia Black Mamba. 10 to 15 inches. Crazy Tunia Cosmic Pink. Now that is stunning. 
also 10 to 15 inches. Now these over here are snapdragons um, and they look like taller varieties. They are $7.95 for an 8 inch pot and you can see that they're already starting to put off. So you could um, plant these in even try to overwinter them which would be great. They've got some of them labeled. It's like this one is Snapdragon Medium Sonic Mix, Sonnet Mix. I think this is all a mixed variety. But you can see over here we've got some white coming up. Here. Pretty. We've got some dark pink. I got like a rosy pink here. Very pretty. These are back to supertunias, or not supertunias, petunias. This is Durabloom, which I haven't heard about before. Hot pink, eight to 12 inches. And another variety here, Durabloom as well, purple, eight to 12 inches. Looks like they're starting to work on their displays. All right, let's see what we got over here. Petunia Pretty Grand Rose. $5.95, nice, that's a good price, wow some more but I don't see a tag on these here's one over here pretty grand white pretty grand red pretty grand midnight these are all $5.95 Pretty Grand Deep Pink and Pretty Grand Coral. Now they've got some bigger containers started over here, some Dusty Miller, some more larger containers of the petunias and these containers will get huge. They're known for having their math, these massive containers. And this like container right here is $30, but y'all, it will get so big. They'll have to pull all these away and this will get huge. Their, their homegrown is known for these massive containers of petunias or annuals. They're known for like their massive containers of mums as well. All right, let's go over to the perennial section. All right, we got Helen von Stein lamb's ear, which I grow and I love. It's a perennial. Full sun to, full sun, light, 12 inches tall by 24 to 30 inches wide. And you can divide this about every two to three years, which is nice too. So you could buy one plant and have this for many, many years. $9.95. Looks like we got a ton of Savia Greggy here. So we're gonna have a bunch of varieties of that. They usually have a wonderful selection. So let's see what varieties. We have Salvia Greggy Mirage Blue. I bought this one last year, Salvia Greggy Mirage Rose Bicolor. These are all about 12 to 14 inches tall. My back is gonna be really tired by the end of this from bending over. Here's your white. Mirage White. Looks like we have Burgundy. Have some of these are starting to show a little bit of color. Mirage Pink. Mirage 
Mirage Violet. This one's pretty. Mirage Soft Pink. Have we seen a red? Mirage or Salvia Greggy Purple. This looks a little bit like a sunflower situation. Look at these. see a label. I don't see a label and I'm not familiar with those. If you guys know what that is, go ahead and drop a comment below. They've got a bunch of iris rhizomes started over here and their rhizomes are free. I'm sure they're like $5.95, $9.95, somewhere around there. We have Wow Factor. We have just purple, Louisiana purple. And this over here, Society Garlic, I believe. Yep, Society Garlic. Society Garlic is $9.95 each. Over here, it looks like they got a bunch of their cannas started. This one is Tropical Salmon. And their cannas are $12.95 each. This one is Bronze Leaf Scarlet. I do like it when they have like the brown leaf. I think it's really pretty. Canova Red Shades. Nova Yellow. It's been about 30 to 48 inches tall. We do have some Coreopsis over here. This one is called Nana, also known as Tick Seed, Full Sun. Nine inches tall by 18 to 24 inches wide. Party Zone 3A to 9B. But this one is like a shorter variety. This one comes up a little bit further. Look how fun and happy that is. Yay, spring. This one is called Jethro Toll Tick Seed or Coreopsis. 15 inches tall by 12 to 14 inches wide. Hardy zones 4A to 9B. It's like we have some Veronica or Speedwell here. Speedwell is $9.95. Veronica, it's called Moody Blues Dark Pink Spike Speedwell. 12 to 14 inches tall by 12 to 14 inches wide. I've never had much luck with Veronica in my area. As soon as the heat hits, it has the worst time. And so I actually stopped buying it a couple of years ago, but I do still think it's beautiful. They have another variety called First Love Speedwell. This one's taller, 22 inches tall by 18 to 20 inches wide. Looks like most of these are in the $10 range for the perennials. Here's a Budlia butterfly um, bush called Buzz Velvet. 30 to 60 inches tall by 24 to 50 inches wide. That's a big boy, full sun. I wouldn't mind having one of those. This looks like maybe a daisy of some type. I'm not sure. Let's look. This is a verbena. Um, it's called Lollipop, Lollipop Vervain. Uh, huh. 24 inches tall by 20 to 24 inches wide. That's pretty. I have meteor showers, but that's neat too. And while we're right here, what do we have here? Let's see a tag. There's a tag right there. What do we got? This is... Eupotrum Greggy. Maybe some kind of salvia? Some more we're going to look at here. Church Bells Clustered Bellflower Campanola. It's pretty perennial. Full shade, or full sun part shade. Height eight, 14 to 18 inches tall. Hardy zones 5 to 8. That's different. I haven't seen that before. 
Here's another salvia. This one is called May Night. We've got pin cushions over here. Lots and lots of pin cushions. Pin cushions are always a sign of spring. Flutter Rose Pink. Scabiosa pin cushion, about 12 to 14 inches tall. These are $9.95. Have some dianthus right here. Electric Red Pretty Poppers Series Pink. Let's see, about 8 to 10 inches tall. Okay, heading into Proven Winners perennials, we have our um, lemon curl sedum here, which is great. And you can actually get these plants and break this up into multiple pieces. Um, three to 10 inches tall, definitely full sun, hardy zone 7A to 11B. Really fun pop of color. Over here we have the cat's meow, nepeta, 70 to 20 inches. Uh, 24 to 36 inches wide. Wow. Some vermilionaire. Is that what that is? Vermilionaire. 18 to 28 inches. How much are all these? These are all $8.95 for the Proven Winners perennials. This is dead nettle. It likes sun to shade, 8 to 12 inches. It's called Purple Chablis. Let's see, about 8 to 12 inches tall. All right, so several varieties of dianthus. It's like four different varieties of the dianthus. So we've got Fruit Punch Maraschino, 9 to 11 inches tall. We have Black Cherry Frost, 8 to 10 inches tall. Love dianthus. It blooms and blooms and blooms here. Cherry vanilla, six to eight inches tall. Cherry vanilla, y'all. That's pretty. Paint the town fuchsia, and I do have this in my garden. Eight to ten inches tall. Then um, their variety, so let's see. The Proven Winners is $8.95. Oh no, now these over here, this one is $12.95. So you have to check on the Proven Winners depending on what it is. Right next to it, another set of Dianthus is, does it have a thing on it that says Cranberry Cocktail? Paint the town red. This is beautiful. Sweet Romance Perennial Lavendula. 12 to 18 inches tall. Wow. Look at the structure on those leaves. Over here looks like Phlox Opening Act White. 18 to 20 inches tall. And I have this one. Actually, I think it died. 18 to 20 inches. I think it lasted two years and it died. Pretty little flowers. Another phlox, perennial phlox, opening act pink a dot, 22 to 26 inches tall. Look at these daisies over here. How fun. They're so fluffy. Wow, those are neat. Yeah, amazing daisies, marshmallow, mellow. 18 to 20 inches tall perennial, full sun. Those are beautiful. This, these, the banana cream. I don't know, let's see, those are pretty. Yep, Mason Daisy, Daisies, banana cream too, 20 to 24 inches tall. So you have this pale yellow. These are interesting as well. Look at the fringed edges. Amazing Daisies Spun Silk, 22 to 24 inches tall. All these daisies are full sun too. And let's look at these prices real quick before we get too far. $16.95 and these are larger containers. 
Oh my. Look at that guy. So pretty. Amazing daisies. Daisy May. 12 to 24 inches tall. Now their baskets are just getting started, so you're not going to see a lot of color here. But give it a couple of weeks and this will be solid color. Absolutely gorgeous. I do feel like they have some of the best prices for hanging ba baskets in the entire North Texas area. All right, looks like we've got some shrubs, landscape roses over here. So let's take a look. All right, we got some proven winners. Oh So Easy Lemon Zest Landscape Rose, and it is $29.95. It's pretty. Not super interested in landscape roses, but I might be in the future. This guy is called Ringo, that's very cool. Here's At Last. Now this is a shrub rose, landscape rose. And I do have this in my garden. So pretty. I use it for cut flowers. Looks like they have the oh so easy Italian ice as well. Here's all of their butterfly bushes. So they do have the Puckster amethyst, which is absolutely beautiful. When these start blooming, they're just ridiculous. These are $29.95 each. Here's the Pugster White. Here is Butterfly Bush Miss Violet. And I know it's hard to see, but these are all of their greenhouses out back. It's insane. <laughs> They've grown so much over the years. This guy is Miss Molly. You can see all the buds they're putting on. These guys are just ready to pop. Here's Puckster Blue. It has more of a blue tone than the Amethyst. Pugster Pink. Pugster Pinker, all $29.95 each. Miss Violet again. Now, this is a whole new section at the very back of the greenhouse. Let me kind of show you guys. So, we just came all the way from the other side there, all the way through. And this is a new portion they've been working on and adding in lots of trees, evergreens. We'll just walk through here and check it out. They're going to have a cashier over here, so they'll have one at each end, which will be really nice. And they built this structure out here, but the windmill was already here, but looks like they're going to have a lot of pottery and such out here. I do think that their pottery is expensive, but I'm also really cheap about pottery. Okay, it feels amazing out here because we're catching a massive breeze. And actually, you can see and look at all of their greenhouses out there. Very cool. Frost resistant, that's cool. These are beautiful. These are $39.95 each. These are small. I mean, these aren't really big. I do like some of these wavy edge terracotta. These are $30 each. These are really pretty. It's interesting. Tons of pottery out here. They have really expanded their business since I started shopping here the year of COVID. And 
it was all it this whole thing was dirt there was no concrete it was just dirt and you had to jump over piles of mud it was kind of glorious and that kind of like, it's still super fun i loved it it's awesome now too but it was really fun when it was super small but they've just gotten so popular it's because their prices are good the people are knowledgeable it's an enjoyable experience to come out here it's definitely like a you know take your day because it's not easy to get to Farmersville, but you know, come on out and get some food out here. Not here at the actual nursery, but around this area and spend the day out here at the nursery. And I'm just showing y'all a small portion of the nursery. There's a whole other portion for shrubs and trees out to the back of this massive greenhouse that we're about to walk in. So I give it about two more weeks and I bet they have all of their spring annuals will be out. So all these empty tables you see will be filled. Our last frost is mid-March, so I'm sure that's what they're waiting for. Just to get through that and then they'll bring everything out. But they've got a good amount of things out here already, which is very exciting. I did see a bunch of fruit trees up front, so let's go check it out. Yeah, we got a bunch of fruit trees out. These look like the same varieties that I bought from Costco. Improved, the same brand, same variety. Let's see what their price is on them. They're not labeled with prices. See like an avocado tree that's like $70, but I don't see the price on the lemon tree. same varieties that I bought from Costco for like 30 bucks. Well, that's good to know. Well, I feel really good about the price that I got my, um, my improved Meyer Lemon for now. Okay, let's go in and check on the price of the soil. They usually have it written on a board in here. They don't have it listed. That's weird. I'll have to ask about that. They do have some bulbs in. I've never bought bulbs here from, from here before. So I'm not familiar with the varieties and the quality. Looks like it's like around eight dollars per pack. And the dahlias are a little more expensive. Or these are God, these glads are eleven or six ninety-five for ten. Those are pretty. Dazzling tangerine mixture. Okay, so these go in here. These are the Mardi Gras mix, and these are the tangerine mixture. I might get some of the tangerine mixture. Got some seeds over here. It looks like they've got some elephant ears. Black Magic for $5.95. Forty-four to forty-eight inches tall. And then here's a standard. I don't think this this might be a jumbo. Yep, 60 inches tall. So here's your jumbos for five or seven ninety-five. Okay, it's Wendy. <laughs> okay, so I ended up talk, chatting with them um, about the BM7, the burger BM7. It has gone up eight dollars a bag, so it's like twenty-seven dollars now. 
And I asked why, and well, it went up across the board because of the peat bogs are having issues and the wildfires in Canada. And so peat, anything with peat moss or peat in it is going to be way more expensive this year. And she, so I, so I started researching, it looks like all the costs of a lot of soils are going up. So something to be aware of. It's still my favorite soil. So sucks that the cost went up, but it is what it is. I'm going to still keep buying it because I still feel like it's the best value that I can find. Now I did not pick up any plants today. I really just made notes of some ideas of some of the plants that I like, but let me show you what I did get. I did pick up um, three packs of these gladiola bulbs and it's called dazzling tangerine mixture. And these are about 56 to 60 inches tall, deer resistant, full sun summer. I love the color combination of them. So I'm really, really excited. Um, the brand is called Netherland Bul Bulb Company. It says out of New Jersey. So we're really excited. I got three bags. They were each $6.95 for 10 bulbs. So I'm really excited to give them a try. But it was really fun going through today. Being in the fresh air felt really good. Um, I was talking to them and it sounds like they are going to become a proven winner's destination spot. So um, I'm going to set up a tour when they have everything. They're going to be carrying the house plants. They're going to be trialing a lot of their shrubs and perennials in this area for Texas people, which I'm so excited about because we don't have a lot of trial situations like that um, for proven winners in this area. So that'll be really fun. And I'm going to set up a tour when they have that all officially set up. And then I'll come through and show you all what all it's all about. All right, you all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below. Let me tell me what your favorite thing is that you saw today, or what your thought is on pricing as well. I thought the prices were very well priced, very inexpensive compared to a lot of the things that I've seen in the area. All right, you all. As uh, oh, also check me out on my social media outlets, including TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.